Hey, what's up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more Ancient Empires mod on Total War Attila. Today we are back at the river crossing playing as the Romans. However, this is going to be very, very different to the last time we were here. The last time we were here, Caesar was taken off guard by a huge barbarian army and he dispatched us with a few legionaries to hold the river crossing for as long as possible whilst he retreated to higher ground to kind of get a more formidable uh, fighting position. So last time we were here, we had to defend this for as long as possible we against a huge barbarian army. However, since then, Caesar has smashed the barbarian army back to the hill fort, which you can find in the link in the description down below. I'll put both the, both the battles I've kind of done in this mini-series down below in the description. But yeah, basically, uh, yeah, Caesar smashed that army, so now he's moved on to fighting a hill fort. So he's going to be advancing on the hill fort, which hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys very, very soon in a video. There's a really cool custom map, which I want to show you guys. Uh, but basically, I need another person to do it with, as you know, the AI just doesn't do it very well so i'll try and get apollo or someone to play that with me but for now we are playing on caesar's left flank this is a reinforcing barbarian army which is trying to get to the uh the hill fort to resupply them with you know food water more men and stuff like that and kind of break caesar's siege so caesar has sent us with a fairly large army we have the 13th and the 15th you can see our other our other force over there in the distance he sent us to defend this and also you know not, not only just defend but also push through caesar wants us to smash the reinforcing army so that no soldiers will come through and basically send the message to any other barbarian tribes which try and supply or reinforce this hill fort so that's basically our goal in this episode is to break this army we're not we're not defending anymore we're not like we're not planning on you know just trying to hold out for as long as possible we are going in for the killing blow and hopefully it'll be an awesome awesome battle so my plan for this battle is i've got a, a large amount of uh, the 13th right here the 13th cohort these guys are going to be my main force at defending the main army of the barbarian force you know they have around about you know 10,000 men we have around about 6,000 men so almost two to one not quite but almost two to one we're outnumbered but my main goal here is just to hold them in place on this river crossing and then with the 15th which are all the way over here uh are gonna this is this force is gonna be the force to hopefully smash through and then outflank them and cause a mass route that's kind of my goal for this episode and hopefully we can achieve that as well as that i've also got these really cool like uh artillery emplacements the the ancient empire mods have added in these kind of uh walls as like a defensive emplacement which i think is really really cool i really hope they do more of this like add more different types of walls and just more defensive positions and stuff because i think this will just, it just makes the makes the like kind of battle feel a lot more cinematic with these like defensible places just stuck down on the battlefield so i hope they do add more of these in as the mod gets more and more developed but yeah i think we're ready to yeah i think we're ready to get started so let's start the battle we will advance our forces there and then we'll also obviously advance our men on the right side so yeah at, at the beginning i'm probably going to be a bit more defensive and then we're going to try and break through as we get further on uh, i think because we have on this right side we have four units of these auxiliary uh auxiliary soldiers who kind of have like a like, really cool look at them they've got some of the legionary shoulder pads on them and stuff but yeah uh, what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be trying to smash the army with these guys uh anything they send through this river crossing i'll be trying to kill as quickly as possible whereas on the other side if we go look over here with my artillery is actually already shooting i probably want to hold fire with that but we can also see the devastation this causes mainly hitting the archers making them stumble a little bit nothing too crazy as the barbarians move forward the arvenai which i believe are actually led by versingetorix i think what i will do is I will uh, throw these guys up a little bit closer just to block anyone who does come clo uh, comes close to the river crossing. As well as that, we have to be very careful because I want to stick these guys in shield wall. But I don't want to do that quite yet because I want them to throw their peeler. So if they are oh, we're actually already on the missile fire, maybe I'll do it with a one unit taking a bit of missile fire. Because every man is, is super important. So yeah, as I, as I was saying, like these units don't throw peeler if they are... Uh, if they are in shield wall so because of that we have to be very very careful with the with the units we put in shield wall because peel is going to be a devastating tool uh, which we'll be using as well as that i've also learned load the graphics down a little bit um i honestly don't think it'll make a difference but you guys have been telling me to do it um like i honestly think it's, it's literally the engine it's not my computer uh for sure because i've looked at my computer and it's always at like 60 percent gpu and cpu usage which is still you know not the not the craziest uh, not like the lowest thing in the world but it's still oh, peeler throat 
Oh, we, we counter Peeler throw. We should go into defensive formation quickly. Shield wall, boys. Shield wall. You guys are meant to be holding. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, like 60% isn't like the best in the world. But, you know, it's pretty good when we're playing with 16, 15,000 men. But I guess we'll see. This will be more of a learning experience. So they're advancing their force over this river. I believe we can destroy that pretty easily. We just have to hold here as best as we can with the archer fire coming in. We've got our own archer fire coming in now. Fully focus the back, uh, the back parts of the enemy force. It's really cool. I, I love these wooden barricades. They just look really cool. It's a really nice, uh, a really nice addition, and we're just going to be volleying him. I'll be trying to get more close-ups as well because we've loaded the graphics to see if it helps with the performance. I mean, it might help with performance. It might just help the engine deal with it. I mean, I don't know. It does look a little bit smoother. So maybe you guys are right. Maybe the engine just does better when it is on lower graphics. But let me know. Let me know if you prefer this, like, this kind of lagginess. Because, oh, that guy just got sliced. I'm not sure if you saw that. That dude just got absolutely wrecked. Uh, yeah, please let me know because this is all up to you guys. Would you prefer higher graphics, things looking better, or would you prefer it just trying to run smoother? And if you even think, like, make sure to go back on my other videos and tell me if this is running smoother than previously because, really, I can't tell that much of a difference. I feel like it's running a little bit smoother, but not loads. So, yeah, please let me know if you prefer... You know, kind of this with the lower graphics, or you just want it to be on top graphics and, and off playing. Because I guess the engine, you know, has to render a lot less stuff when it is when it is doing this. But it's still, you know, a, a bit jumpy here and there as the soldiers are going out. They're even moving up their noble cavalry. So I gave them a ton of experience, and I also gave them, you know, the best amount of troops they can physically have. And my god, look at that. That does look very, very brutal. Are they pushing over yet? They're not quite pushing over. I will bring up these archers, though. To start volleying. Oh, we're not in shield wall either, are we, with uh, with our with our auxiliaries. I probably want to hold fire with all these guys on their pilum. So I'll tell these guys to hold fire. These dudes, however, I think can just throw at will. I want these guys just to, you know, absolutely pepper the enemy. And again, on this right flank, we want to be pretty aggressive. I don't really want to be in these shield wall type things. I want to be pushing forward as they're just throwing out so many. Do these guys have peeler as well or are they going to be using some sort of dart or something yeah no but it looks a bit is oh they very these guys are actually just using javelins which are interesting as they're just piling into the enemy they do have a nice like decent shield wall you know these shields are pretty big to withstand this fire what, something which is really cool as well i'd love to see is if these you know imagine if these, these soldiers actually had to drop their shields whilst they have these peeler in them you know that'd be so awesome and I guess we should counter charge as well. I don't really know what I'm doing. Charge into the enemy. We want to be aggressive here. We want to be breaking them as best we can. So yeah, we're charging in there. We can reform there. And we can reform like here. And then charging. Because we want to be breaking them as quickly as possible over there. I think we're okay with artillery right now. So let's, let's stick this on fire ammunition, of course. And give them the taste of the Roman artillery. So stick them fairly far back, one there, and like one there, as they are pushing hard into our lines. Like this is, this is pretty brutal right now. But our Roman legionaries are fighting pretty, uh, pretty effectively. Is the artillery going to be shooting from their nice defensive positions? Nice little artillery encampments right here. As the rest of the Romans are ready to resupply. Here we go. The first couple shots coming in. I'm excited to see where these bad boys land. Oh, that one does not look like... Whoa, that one completely missed. I think they need to check their, their fire. We might have almost have hit our own men as well. Almost. Where's the other shoot? The other one shooting yet? We need to be putting in rounds into this barbarian line. Like, we need to be shooting it as much as physically possible. Yeah, be shooting their back of their, their lines. I just need you guys to be to be volleying. We have our archers, which are finding good good amounts of uh, hits. Hopefully, how many kills are these archers on? Uh, Nineteen and fifteen. I mean, they haven't really got a ton of kills. Okay, here we go. This is what we're talking about. Again, another miss. Come on, artillery! Oh my god! And we're just almost devastating our own front line into the back of our Romans. That is not good. We burnt a few horses and stuff, but. You know, we're the ones who are outnumbered. We can't, you know, this artillery needs to be finding better hits. And, oh my god, and again. Okay, artillery, hold your goddamn fire. 
I didn't think these guys would be so poor with their, their shots. I mean, that was a direct hit right there. They managed to, to find a perfect hit here. But I think we killed... So yeah, look how many Romans. You know, friendly fire. We just... We murdered. We burnt here. God damn it. I was expecting the artillery to be a real key, key part here. Look at this one naked dude as well. Who's just been completely surrounded. Someone finish him. Someone take care of him. I like how the Barbarians are actually taller as well. At least it looks like they're taller. Yeah, the Barbarians are actually taller than the Romans. Now, that's, that's pretty cool. I like the detail they've added in there. But can someone just end this guy? Like, please. Finally. Finally taking him down. Okay, how are they doing over here? Because this, this is our main point of contention right now, is if we can route these guys, uh, which we can actually probably do a pretty good job of. Yeah, look at this, this, this amount of archer fire coming in now. We should be finding beautiful hits. Oh, we actually managed to break them. Nice. We are actually doing an amazing job. I guess because we're coming in on the flank. That's going to be helping us out massively. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to dispatch a unit of the... Uh, of the 15th over here and we'll go on board on them because I've given them some orders so the 15th are going to be forming up on that right flank and then charging in to resupply them I guess the AI you know are struggling they haven't really got a lot of support they're being outflanked te technically because they're kind of in my overall and they're also getting peppered by look all that archer fire coming in right now you know that must be finding some targets uh some real nice targets nice I'm actually going to change the fire ammunition because this is our main goal right now is to break this if we can break this and we can move our entire army across and then move them in there i guess we'll advance these guys a little bit further forward because if i can get this unit around the back that'll be perfect especially with a fire ammunition coming in now burn 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 them all as cersei would say auxiliaries are proving uh proving their worth today Maybe, I'll, maybe they'll, if they fight even braver today than they did in the previous battles, we'll give them Roman citizenship. I doubt it, but you never know. We just need to be making sure we're holding here because this is, yeah, look at that. I love the fact that we have these Roman lines just like ready to move in. But again, I, I don't know how, how, if these guys are actually going to be able to hold because, I mean, they are actually pretty happy. A few flanks are not. But we're doing a pretty good job here. If we look at the numbers and kills wise, we've lost around about 300 men. They've lost around about 1,000 men. But that, that, that main like 1,000 men is coming from this over here. We are putting down the pressure on them. This, uh, oh nice, the 15th have actually pushed directly in here. Just penetrating their flank. That's exactly what we like to see. That's exactly what we need to see from the 15th now. We need to be pushing in here hard and fast and just route these guys the quicker we route these guys the quicker we send this army back to whence it came the quicker we can reinforce our flanks and we're going to change back to normal fire uh, ammunition now oh nice yeah definitely change back to normal ammunition and let's dispatch our legionary cavalry to push on this we want to try and capture as many of these guys as possible so let's keep up the pressure we will march these guys across the river they will not run so we'll march these guys and we'll send the cavalry forward. So good job. 15th have done what I've asked them to do. So they will be moving forward slowly but surely as the rest of our troops advance and hopefully just cut down as many of these guys as possible. We've got so much archer fire and look at them just routing. The fact that they didn't have like any any like su like support on their flanks or anything of oh, these Romans are just cutting them down as well. My god. If I didn't have any support here, I didn't have the general here. And again, this army was actually full of weaker units, to be fair, whereas the other unit was full of, like, elite troops. So, you know, you can see there's a lot of spearmen in this, in this kind of detachment of the barbarian army. So because of that, I guess it was more prone to being broken. Whereas if we look over here, um, again, as we can see, our general right here looking from a distance. Now, I'm sure he can see over, if he looks over to his right, just the, the barbarians routing, and he's, he's confident in his plan that we are going to be victorious. Archer's still shooting in shot after shot. That's very, very good. It's exactly what I like to see. How's the cavalry doing? Cavalry is advancing. Again, just chase these dudes down. I do not want any of them to return to this battle. 
and then I guess we can we can just reform, you know. There's no there's no reason why why we should be rushing or anything. So let's just reform. We are Romans. We are disciplined. We are in no hurry whatsoever. So we will just you know, as I said, reform, take a rest. You know, we've been fighting hard. I can't quite do that one yet. I mean, I just took the legionary first cohort there. The archers should be more... I mean, the cavalry should be more than enough to just chase down the enemy routing troops and deal with them. And by the looks of it, the AI does still have some... Yeah, because you can see, there's uh, Vercingetorix is right here. And then the other army I gave them, their general was here as well. So I think if they had their general over there, they would have definitely have stayed and fought. But the fact that they just had, you know, such poor morale due to the fire arrows as well, causing a massive thing. They were getting tired. They were getting outflanked. You know, it just was not a good situation for them whatsoever. But if we look back at the main fight whilst my other army is reforming, we can watch some of these, some of this uh, brutal engagement on the front line. Come on, do uh, stand proud for the Emperor, you glorious 13th. I love how, I love how the fighting's broken out over here on the far right side. That one soldier, he's surrounded by like four other dudes. Get to him, get to him, legionaries. Make sure he's protected. I guess they have to keep formation, boy. They can't break break formation because I believe this dude is not going to be surviving for much longer. The archer fire must be racking up so many kills now. If he, even if you look into some of the line, this part of the infantry. Oh my god! Look how many dead barbarians are just laying on the floor as these guys push forward. That is glorious to see. I love seeing how the Romans have just pushed forward. Their cavalry, though, these are, this is noble cavalry, so this is their best cavalry. And I also gave them, I think, three chevrons, or if not four chevrons. So these dudes are going to be pretty mighty. Oh, yeah, I think I must have forgotten to give the other armies some chevrons as well. So that's definitely going to be hindering their morale as well. But these guys should be fighting a lot more fierce. push them back boys their noble cavalry is going to be so difficult to take care of it's just so elite it really really is especially with the sheer amount of archer fire coming in as well this is a brutal brutal engagement how is our cavalry doing our cavalry is yeah definitely sending them back to the abyss nice chase them down it's up to these guys to chase down i wonder how many kills they're on 125 and 170, yes, you know, this, I'm using this cavalry good because, again, these guys could retreat from the battlefield and then reinforce at the, at the hilltop siege, which Caesar is currently conducting. So we want to make sure we capture and kill as many of these barbarians as possible. We don't want this army, you know, getting through, any soldiers getting through, uh, which means we should probably leave a little bit of a roadblock just in case, you know, any troops try to. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll take two units, two of the most tired... Uh, auxiliary units and we'll just leave them at the back here these guys can just make sure that no one actually does come through here and again which i think will be a smart idea to have them dudes there you know just ensuring that no one gets through you know because if they could you know now if we take all these units over to assault this uh, river crossing over here then they could easily just you know run through and, and get you know a couple hundred extra men some supplies or something to the hilltop fort so we want to stop that as much as as best as possible I want to make sure we continue on these barbarians. Um, okay, I think I think we these troops have done enough right now. I think they're probably pretty exhausted. Oh no! Okay, that this front unit is probably because it's been a lot more aggressive. So we're gonna try this out. I am playing on a earlier patch, but um, could then what's on the like on the workshop just because I haven't bothered to get the the newest one. And these guys are actually under a bit of missile fire. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and pull out a unit which is in combat. Normally, in any other mod, this would just make it route. But I, I believe I've done this before, and in this mod, they should be okay. Because if I just run these guys through, like so, they push forward to the front of the battle line, which is exactly what we want them to do. You know, you can see they're pushing forward. They're getting to the front of the battle line. Uh, we'll get rid of this as well, taking up a lot of our screen. Okay, they should be to the front now. So I should, I should be able to now withdraw this. Without them routing. Nice, that's perfect. That is absolutely awesome. I love that this mod does that. It allows you to withdraw troops from combat. You know, their morale is absolutely fine. This was the morale they were on. You know, normally if I try to do this, the unit would just route. 
So now this gives you the opportunity. That's awesome. I, I love seeing that actually in practice. So now this gives me the opportunity to bring tired men out, you know, because really I've only lost 40 men in this unit. You know, if I can get this unit back up to, you know, full fighting strength, they get all their energy back. Then they're just going to be, they're just going to be, you know, just as effective as, you know, they only lost 40 men. So if I can get these guys back up to full strength, um, they're just going to be, you know, a very, very potent unit. So that's awesome. I love seeing that uh, work really effectively. Um, and it's good to see it's working in this patch as well. Because as I said, I'm playing on an earlier patch. So they've probably improved it a whole bunch since, uh, since they've released it. You see our Centurion there fighting hard. Maybe Macro is one of these Centurions. The Cavalry is causing us a bit of issue. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we probably should form a shield wall with these guys as well. Just whilst they're chilling. Because the Archer Fire is becoming a bit annoying. Oh god, this unit, however, is getting ready to route. Why? Out of interest. I don't understand why that unit is getting ready to route. Maybe, maybe because they're getting outflanked somewhere. I guess they are not. They are not in shield wall. They're up against a large, large amount of men. How are we doing over here? We are pretty much. Yeah, we're back to full strength. So let's uh, march ourselves over. We will obviously march, as I said. Cavalry can get ready just to you know, chase back some more soldiers. We've obviously reinforced this over here. We'll move up the legionary first cohort. Yeah, they have actually broken through here. That's not going to be good. Form up shield wall. This is going to leave our units on this, this left and right flank a bit exposed. That is for sure. I can't believe they routed. I, I don't know. I guess something must have uh, must have just triggered them off. Because that was a fresh unit as well, I believe. So yeah, it does mean that these two cohorts on along the side are going to be getting kind of somewhat surrounded. So maybe we do need to be a bit more aggressive. But I just don't feel like we can... We have men to do that. How are we doing over here? We're marching honorably, I assume. That's exactly what I like to see. A Roman does not charge into battle. A Roman is disciplined. He will march. Even if the entire army is about to die, Romans will march to battle. As they push forward. I mean, as soon as, as, soon as this army arrives at the river crossing, victory is ours. As long as we can hold it, that is. As long as we can hold it. Archer fire still coming in. Again, how many kills are these archers up to? A hundred and... Yeah, that's not bad. And this one's up to 114. It still has a ton of ammunition left. So just keep it up. We look at the balance of power right now. You can see that we're actually... <laughs> we've lost, like, no men in this battle. My God. I think the main, like, cause to their defeat, like, the reason they lost so many men was that river crossing over on the right-hand side. You know, not having their general there really hurt them. And I feel like this, this cohort is going to be getting decimated. I don't know. Like, the routing into battle? Yeah, you've only just gone into battle. Why are you routing? Brave Romans fighting hard to protect Caesar. Yeah, keep your advance, boys. I want to get you to like there and then we'll just rotate you around and then we'll charge into the rears. But again, you better not be running. And how's our cavalry doing over here? Our cavalry is just continually to just chase down more of the Celtic men. How many kills are these guys on now? 300 and 400. Yeah, they've done an amazing job. Nice. We're starting to route a few of their frontal units right here. Their noble cavalry is not looking too good. They might even route before we even do it. Maybe... Maybe we can just route them before our enemy army gets here. Because they are all exhausted. Look at that. If I press it, look at them. They are so tired right now. And oh, by the looks of it, we are pushing them back. Our other army isn't even in need. Let's push on them, boys. For glory. For wrath, for ruin in the world's end. I mean, a Roman still does not run, though, does he? Does a Roman run? I think not. Apart from our cavalry. Damn, there we have it. There we have it. We just broke from here. So something I've noticed, and it's not so much in the river crossing battles, we're going to run all this down, you know, just for the sake of it whilst I talk, whilst our cavalry comes back, because I want to see how many kills we can get on our horsemen. 
So, uh, yeah, something I've noticed a lot, actually, not it's not so much in this river crossing battle, but in more, more like pitch battles, the AI actually uses reserves as well themselves. They don't just throw everything in, they don't just charge like blindly into combat. They actually have uh, soldiers which, you know, stay in the second and third line, which will be really interesting, especially when the campaign comes about and you actually come up against armies which are using that kind of not so much like pulling units out and reinforcing them but actually just having you know reserves in in the back lines i think that'll be really really awesome and i'm super excited for that so yeah as i've mentioned uh, i think in the in the earlier in this episode they are actually this uh, mod is actually in uh in like open beta i guess at the moment you can play online and you can also play on uh on custom battles as well so i'll leave a link into that down below the campaign is on its way it's just you know still needs a bit of work which is totally understandable i imagine it's, it's a huge project and a lot of these uh a lot of these tools are only just coming together now like they've, they've been like probably people have been working on different parts of uh, of the campaign for all this time and you know it's only now they're actually kind of all putting them together and finding different bugs and stuff our romans are just making the river run run red with the blood of these barbarians and here we go we're about to get a beautiful charge into the sides of these guys no one will get to this river fort or this hill fort no one will get there to kind of reinforce we will make sure we capture as many of these barbarians as possible as they're just routing from the field like the cowards they are the cavalry should be just slaughtering them I mean, these guys, these legionaries didn't even have to do anything, you know? We've still got our marching legionaries, because obviously Romans do not run. So they're just advancing forward, and they're seeing that victory is ours. They're like, huzzah! What a, what a clean victory, as the Romans just continue to slaughter them in the river. Give them no mercy. That is the order that is given. Kill them all. And that is exactly what we're doing. My god, look at that. Cavalry is just slaughtering um, left, right, and center. I, I actually do want to see how many kills this cavalry will get. So I'm going to play it on triple speed just before we do it. And if it gets a bit ridiculous, like it takes forever to do it, then maybe we will just skip this. Um, and actually, yeah, screw it. Let's just skip it. We'll go. It's a heroic victory. That was pretty glorious. Uh, you'll see that I did give them a ton of experience um, and stuff like that. I obviously gave some of my legendary first cohorts even more experience, but they didn't even get into combat, really. So... Um, yeah, I'm surprised the enemy got uh, wrecked that hard because in the other battle, we were the ones getting wrecked in the other river crossing. Uh, I guess we just managed to, you know, get the things in our favor, archer fire, artillery fire, cavalry in the rear, and they were just getting exhausted as well. You know, one of the things about the Arveni is they have a lot of good elite troops, like these guys uh, and these guys are really good. However, they can only have a limited number of men in their in their unit. And the fact that we were in shield war as well probably gave us a bit of an advantage. I mean, we, we, we killed 4,000. So we still do have 4,500 men, which could reinforce the river fort. Um, but we only lost 300, so I think that's that's good odds for any Roman. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It really helps out the channel and lets me get my videos out there to more people. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully I'll be bringing you the hill fort battle, which, which, which will be awesome. Really epic. I can't wait for it. So yeah, fish out.